Hi there, it's Craig here. Well, I told you I had a product I wanted to demonstrate, and uh, here we are. Now, as you well know, when you bottle your beer, and you put your sugar in your bottles, or you put your sugar in your batch, and then bottle your beer, however you do it, after your beer is carbonated, you have sediment in the bottles, right? I've had lots of messages asking me what to do about that. And of course, the proper answer is nothing. There's nothing you can do about it. When you carbonate your beer in the bottle, you're going to get sediment. There's just no two ways about it. Okay, So you can't store them sideways. You can't take them anywhere. You can't put them in a cooler with all kinds of other beers because they're going to get tipped, spilt, whatever. Um, you're going to end up cloudy, and you're going to be drinking cloudy beer. Personally, I don't like the taste of the, of the, of the sediment. Some people do, and that's fine. And, it's, and Apparently, it's good for you. It's got vitamin D or something in it. But... Uh, I, I want my beer to be nice and clear when I drink it. So I don't want to have to worry when I take it camping that on the way there it gets jostled around in the car and ends up cloudy once I get there. Well, I have a solution for you. And this is uh, something I found. Somebody actually sent me a message a while ago asking me if I'd heard of these. And uh, I hadn't, and I checked it out. And sure enough, I found them, and I ordered myself two boxes of them because I want to demonstrate them to you. These little things are supposed to eliminate the sediment in your beer. Now, that sounds impossible, but it's not. Here's how they work. Okay, I'm going to show you these. These are called Sedex Sediment Catchers. Uh, Brody's Sediment Catchers. I guess probably the name of the person or people who invented them um, was, would be Brody. But they are called Sedex Sediment Catchers. Actually, this, these ones I opened upside down. I'll just show you the box. Uh, right side up. There's their information they gave you on the box. Okay. So, put that over there. Let's grab one out of here and just show you how they work. So, here's the box. There's comes with step by step instructions. It's very simple. Okay, these things aren't rocket science. Actually, they are quite remarkable, though. Um, here's one here. Here's the, the lot. Okay. 30 in each of these boxes. You can get bigger lots, but put that over there out of the way. Let's show you how these things work. Now, I got a bottle of water over here, but let's pretend this is a home brew, okay? And I've put one of the sediment catchers on the top. Now, normally, when you let your beer sit um, like this, it's, the sediment's going to fall down to the bottom and collect on the bottom of the bottle. So with these things, what you do is you put them on here, just like you would normally screw on your, your caps. If you were screwing on caps, you no longer have to do this anymore. Now you can just screw these on, and you flip them upside down, you give them a slight little shake to get your sugar dissolved, and then you just store them upside down like that. There's a little base, you see? Just put them like that and store them. They fit right back in the same case that they came from because these little bases are the same width as the bottles, and because they've got these little sort of, you know, little things here. They sort of interlock together when they're in the in the case. So there's not a problem getting them to, to fit. I think they've thought of everything with these. These are amazing. So you leave these in the... Now, I haven't... I mean, I haven't tried them yet. I've, I've used them. I actually bottled a batch of beer last night, and I used these sediment catchers on the bottles. So you're using standard beer bottles, hopefully with not a lot of a curve here, we were a little bit worried about this curve here, that the sediment might actually fall down and land on this curve. But so far, that hasn't happened with my, my batches, and I'll show you that in a second. So what happens? The sediment falls down, it goes through here, and it lands up in the bottom of this thing, right here. And I'll show you that with this homebrew right here. Now, this is one I bottled last night. You can see that it's not clear yet. It is a homebrew, so I'm not lying about this for all you skeptics out there. Okay, it's very cloudy. There's no sediment on that little shoulder part that I can see yet. Okay, but when I look at the bottom here, I can see the sediment collecting in this little thing here, this little ring there. I can't show you because I don't want to tip this, but I, I don't want, maybe I can... I don't know if you can see that, but anyways. Okay, so it's working, and... I'm just going to set this aside because that's one of my home brews that has to sit. Now, when you're ready to, you know, drink this, or when it's finished uh, carbonating, let's say in three, four weeks, however long you leave your beer, 
okay? What you do is you grab it and these, this bottom part comes off. It unscrews and what they've done is they've reverse threaded it. So as you're unscrewing it, you're actually tightening the top part. So you, there's no risk of you actually opening the beer while you're taking this bottom part off, okay? So it just screws off and while you're screwing it off, there's a little valve in this top part, this gray part here. The valve is closing. And before you get this off, the valve is closed and sealed. There's a spring in there that pushes up, seals the valve, so that once you get this off, you've got a perfectly sealed, carbonated beer with no sediment at all. And the sediment ends up in here. So you can't, well, there's a little bit, a little bit of water in there, so you can see that, that it actually does work. I spilt a little bit when I took it off. So you throw that out and you just clean this out and then you're done. So now you've got your home brew. You can stick it in the fridge like this. You can move it around. It doesn't matter because there's no sediments. Perfectly clear carbonated home brew with no sediment. That's the premise. Of course, when you're ready to drink it, you just pop the top off and away you go. You can drink it. You can pour it. Whatever you want to do. No worries. Okay. One of the concerns that we had uh, is that, or that I had, and we, we talked about it with the, I talked about it with the company, is that when they did it in Australia, they've got these bottles. Now these are very, you know, slightly tapered bottles. And these are the ones they use. Um, that way nothing can get, none of the sediment can actually get caught on anything on the way down. But so far, I have to say, that I can't, I can't see anything happening with these particular bottles. And these are the ones I'm using. These are just standard uh, beer bottles from the beer store, you know. Little shoulder there, not much, maybe a 30 degree angle there. And I think so far we can see that there's nothing happening, nothing getting caught up there. So I'm happy about that because we were concerned. And at the bottom here, definitely there's beer and I don't know again if you can see it but there is sediment on the bottom of that bottle after only 24 hours it's just a little bit there so again the idea after these are finished you screw off the, the catcher part and you just leave the valve part on and you've got your beer okay now I have to unfortunately I have to wait I've got a whole batch of it down on the floor there I've got to wait you know four, three, four weeks for this to, to work, you know, before I can try one. You guys only have to wait a few seconds because at the end of this video, we're going to try this. We're going to open one. We're going to pour it. We're going to drink it and we're going to see how well these things work. Okay. So we'll come right back. We'll see how this works out. Okay. Well, it's been a couple of weeks. They do suggest you leave this for about a month, but I've noticed that um, my bottle of beer here is very clear, and I think it's ready to uh, to try. Now, what you can do is remove the bottom part and then leave the beer sit for longer to age. Um, as long as it's clear, you know that your sediment is finished, uh, you know, falling down. There's no more sediment in your beer, um, so you can remove the bottom. So that's what I'm going to do right now is remove the bottom part. Now you can see the bottom has some beer in it. Small amount of beer, um, probably the same amount that you would leave behind if you were pouring this um, into a glass without the sediment catcher on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this. I'm probably gonna get a couple of drops and, or drips here because it's, you know, the sediment catcher has beer in it and it's gonna be in contact with here. I didn't get didn't get any this time, so I, maybe you won't get that. I just assumed you would, but so here we have the um, the actual bit of beer with the sediment. Let me just dump this out back here, and I'll show you if you can see that. That's the sediment in the bottom there. Okay, so it did work. It did fall down into this sediment catcher, okay, through this valve here. 
Um, and I did notice that there was no sediment buildup on the shoulder of this bottle. So that's one concern that we don't have to worry about with these particular bottles. Um, and you can see the beer is, it's, it's hard to tell what this, it's got a label on it, but you can see the beer is clear. So now you have a home brew, which is still carbonated, sealed, and has no sediment. So I'm quite pleased with this actually. Um, I'm gonna open this, have a taste. Cheers, whoa. <laughs> You know, I do miss going to the store and buying a case of beer and just drinking it out of the bottles. Um, especially some of the lighter colored beers that don't have a lot of body, don't have a lot of head, don't pour very well. It's nice to just crack one open, drink it right out of here. And this product has passed the test. It does work. And so far that looks like it's just worked beautifully. Sediment is stuck in the bottom there. Of course, you're gonna to wanna to take this out clean it out uh, fairly soon and store it back in the box or whatever. Um, so you can remove the bottom part as soon as you think your beer is clear and just leave the top part on until you're ready to drink your beer. Do I approve of these? Do I think these are a good idea? Yes, I do. Uh, now that I've tried my first beer, matter of fact, let's pour this, the rest of this out. All of it, you see? Beautiful. It's a great idea. Uh, this is the valve. This is the, the part that kind of switches over. When you remove, let's take a new one here. When you remove the bottom part, um, okay, when, when this bottom part is attached, this valve is opened, okay? That's how the beer gets down inside uh, and falls down in the, into the bottom here in the sediment too. The seal between these two units doesn't break until that valve is closed. So you never lose your, uh, you never lose your, your, your carbonation in your beer. So when you take the bottom part off, you don't lose the carbonation or pressure inside your beer bottle. So they do work and um, that's, that's awesome. Now the only thing, now this is, this is not a design flaw, okay? The only thing I want you to be aware of, if you do decide to use these, is that first of all, when they come delivered, they, they're put together and screwed together, so you will have to take them apart to sanitize them, all right? Now, I had some questions about sanitizing them. I read the instructions, and uh, it did say that you had to sanitize them together and again apart. The reason for that is, is because the valve has to be closed so you get the sanitizer in here, but it also has to be opened in order to get the sanitizer into the in internal workings of this little valve here. Well, I found an easier way to do it. What I did was get some um, no rinse sanitizer, throw this in it, let it soak just the way it is. This one here, what you want to do is you want to put it underneath the sanitizer and just push in on this valve a few times just to get the sanitizer inside the, the spring mechanism, the valve mechanism, okay? And then you can just leave it sit there and let it sanitize. Very easy. A little more work than sanitizing caps, like, you know, throwing bottle caps in a bowl of sanitizer and letting them sit. Um, this is a little more work, but, you know, that's the way they work and that's a small price to pay. It took me about an extra 10 minutes to sanitize these things um, versus just some regular caps. Okay, so that's it. I would go ahead and try them. Uh, I'm not, in, you know, I'm not affiliated with the website or the company at all. Uh, this is not a paid advertisement whatsoever. Um, I do not make a profit if you buy these. I'm totally uninvolved. I just wanted to bring this information to you. It's up to you. Give them a shot. That's how you avoid the sediment in your beer. There's the answer to that question. Beautiful product. Highly recommended.
Ah, I like that. Homebrew out of a bottle. That's kind of neat. It's great for some of the lighter uh, bodied beers. You know, some of the ones just want to chill them down nice, crack them and drink them. The old fashioned way. I like that. Well, I have to say that I do recommend these. I used them. They were successful. They did their job exactly the way they, they describe. Um, I've had no problems with them at all, no leaks. There's been no pressure loss in the beers. They've all been carbonated, all the ones I drank, which were about, I think I did about 35 beers um, this way, and I did the rest just regular bottles. Um, and uh, they worked out really well. Really, really awesome. And, you know, uh, I just want to mention, I didn't, I didn't film the bottling process because I figured, well, I'm just bottling and putting these things on. But I would like to mention that um, when, I, when I was doing that, I didn't put them to. I sanitized them separately, obviously, obviously like I showed you, but I didn't put them together like this again. I left them apart, and um, when I'm, while I was bottling, I just simply screwed on this bottom part here, nice and tight, and did all the beers like that. Got them all filled and, and screwed on, and then I went back around and attached the, uh, whoops, it's still got some of the beer in it, attached the, uh, the, the, the catcher part. You just hold on to the, the uh, valve part nice and tight, or screw that on, it's reverse threaded, and turn it upside down, away you go. Perfectly clear, perfectly carbonated, no sediment, a little bit of chill haze on that beer, but whatever, that's what you get. It's ice cold. <laughs> Cheers. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you guys try these. Um, if you're concerned about sediment, they're excellent and they work perfectly. Okay, there you are. Thanks for watching and see you later. Take care.